Hi everyone, it's the uh, beginning of February. I wanna I wanna show you my Chinese fringe and look at it's in a bloom. This is kind of like full bloom right now. All these pink fuzzy flowers, they're so beautiful. I love them. And look what I have on my one of my flower beds. This is hyacinth. And it start blooming. It's not very long uh, stem, but it will start blooming. And another one is perking out. Uh, I planted this um, hyacinth about uh, three years ago. And um, hyacinth is one of the flower bulbs that coming back for us here in the North Texas Zone A. Uh, and they're coming back. So they're coming back for us uh, year after year. Uh, daffodils and tulips here kind of going as annuals. Um, they're blooming one uh, spring and that's it. Um, next year they're not coming back. It's because our winters is not cold enough for them to do that. And this is a marilla bud. You see it's coming out. Um, so it's kind of ready, kind of growing, coming out. But this is what our weather will be uh, started from tomorrow night it's started dipping down this is very cold for north texas this is very cold 23 19 10 this is extremely cold so what i need to be doing i need to be covering my hyacinth bulbs and my amaryllis bulb i need to be covering them with some um, mold so this amaryllis bulb the one that i already have uh, up stem I will cover all the way up because uh, it could be damaged that kind of cold could be damaged now I have few that only started a little bit and I have like this one I will cover those mulch up to this point too so that's why they will not be damaged by cold you can cover them with a the mulch or you can um, put a bucket on top or some kind of material on top to protect from cold but uh, for example like this uh, bulbs the one that uh, only green i will cover them with mulch but this guy i'm gonna put flower pot on top plastic one and on top of it i will gonna put a um, uh, brick or rock so that the wind will not blow away and this flower pot i'm gonna just bring closer to the door so that's why it will be protected because i don't know what's gonna happen with the snapdragons pansies i don't even know if i should cover them up or not i just don't know i may well cover them with uh, something like a old blanket or towel they're not very tall um dusty miller will be fine so i don't gonna cover them azaleas will be fine too and my the most important flower that i'll be checking um for this coming the cold it's my uh, peonies now this uh, bush, it's a Ito peony, and as you can see, see this bud? It's gonna start opening up, it started waking up because our weather was very nice. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put on all this bush, I'm gonna put black um, pot and put rock on top. I don't wanna mulch that up. So that's what I'm gonna do with this particular one. Um, it started waking up because it's one of the earliest ones that bloom in my yard and just earlier type itself so that's why this is waking up let me show you another one this is my another Ito peony and it's a little bit later blooming but you see this little pink ones uh this is buds and look at this one you see i didn't cut down like i guys told you i didn't cut down these branches because look at this bud you see how far it is from uh, beginning of it from crown uh, if i cut this right here this will be gone so what i'm gonna do with this one i have to cover this one too because all these little pink ones this is some um, uh, stems that will be have leaves and uh, flower on top uh, because they're already kind of showing up uh, that freeze kind of could kill them now this is regular peony and uh, as you can see this is little pink dots this is again flower flower buds and um it's um uh, I don't plant them very deep because uh, here in the uh, zone 8A North Texas, we don't have, yeah, this coming week is a um, not normal cold week for Texas, so, but it is coming. So because we don't have too cold winter, I usually plant them uh, no higher, no lower than one inch uh, below the surface. So this one's they already start waking up. So I will cover them with mulch very 
lightly and uh, when uh, this cold will be gone I carefully will move away this is another one one of mine and I can see here peonies it started kind of pink bud coming out and here is I have two under leaves it's kind of hard to see them but here they are and this one I cannot even believe it if I move away leaves look at look at how tall they are already so this peony I will for sure will cover because I don't want to take no chance on this cold front coming this is my roses i will not gonna cover them i just leave them like this and um, after freeze will be done i will uh, cut them down i'm not gonna cover them this is daylily some of my daylilies for some reason they're still green a lot of them daylilies kind of die which is kind of they're supposed to but these guys for some reason <laughs> still green and i love them this is one of my hydrangea uh, bush and it's a regular big leaf hydrangea. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't that cute? This is uh, from uh, last year, still a little flower. Uh, I'm not gonna cover them. Well, honestly, I don't know. Um, as you can see here, it's a flower, not flower, leaf bud. It start forming, but um, this hydrangea is um, next to a house, so kind of winds will not bother it but i don't know i'm kind of thinking about i kind of don't know should i cover it or not and irises will be fine i'm not gonna cover them or cut them down um well that's it for today thank you guys for watching my video have a great day see you next time bye